my YouTube channel and this is my very first YouTube video and I'm so excited that you chose to watch this and to join along on my journey of um, life and I just really wanted to start making YouTube videos to just share my life with other people but first I wanted my first video to be a introduction of who I am so um, whenever I watch youtubers I always go to the beginning of their videos and I just want to know a little bit more about them so I thought why not start there um, with my first video so yes my name is Rachel Tibbs and I am from Alabama and live in Alabama currently and I was born and raised in the North Alabama area. I lived in a lot of different cities, but majority of my life I lived in Moulton, Alabama, which is like a population, I don't know, between two and 3,000. So just a small town that I really enjoyed growing up in though. Me and my sister were homeschooled for the majority of our time in school. Um, we went to a few like, Christian schools in elementary and then became homeschooled. Um, we also were not typical homeschoolers. We were at home all the time, but we were actually very, very involved in dance, competitive dance. Um, so we traveled a lot with that and also very involved in our church and church activities. So we kept really busy and pretty social. We also went to a co-op, Master C and Christian School, which is where we officially um, graduated from and yeah so I was homeschooled danced for about nine years and just really enjoyed that enjoyed being very involved in church and helping out in the ministry and that is where I got my love for ministry and felt like the next chapter of my life that's what I wanted to pursue so I took a little bit of a gap semester between um, homeschooling and college and eventually moved to Birmingham, Alabama to attend Highlands College. So that was a big deal for me from going from a small town to Birmingham. And I know a lot of people were like, oh, Birmingham's not that big. Well, to me, it was super big. I was did not want to drive the first month or so. I just rode with my roommates because I was like, oh, this is so big here and there's big roads and stuff I eventually got used to it praise the lord <laughs> but um yeah I went to Highlands College but also um went to Point University and eventually um changed it to Southeastern University with Highlands College I got my advanced certificate of ministry leadership and with Southeastern University I got my um associates in Christian ministries degree and I really enjoyed my time at, in Birmingham and with Highlands College. And I met some of my best friends, my bridesmaids, my girls there. And I had amazing roommates that were my best friends. And then I also met my husband, Jay Tibbs, there. So that was a big plus. It's not why I went, but so um, me and Jay met um, back in school we were at the same campus serving and eventually we were just friends and then eventually uh, summer of 2018 started dating and we just really enjoyed spending time together and in January of 2019 we already knew like hey we're gonna get married and March 2nd of 2019 we got engaged in July 19th of 2019 we got married, so we really didn't waste any time um, being dating, and engaged, and getting married, um, and I'm really glad that we did it that way. So we got married really young. I was um, had just turned 21, and Jay was already 21. So um, we got married young, but we we were just wanting to go ahead and start. Our lives together so we stayed in Birmingham and just lived this really fun first half of our marriage in Birmingham we had odd jobs and just enjoyed like getting to know each other and 
um, living with each other and exploring Birmingham. And we just had a lot of fun um, our first few months. Well, then we felt like it was time to move on and we moved to Cincinnati, Ohio. And we had a lot of good friends and a new, um, Jay knew the pastor and they planted a church there in Cincinnati, Ohio called Queen City. And we just moved to be a part of it. So on January 1st of 2020, beginning of 2020, we moved um, to Cincinnati, Ohio. So we just enjoyed attending Queen City and just being a part of church there. And, and we got our first, like my first full-time job. Um, and it was really interesting learning the dynamics between like just learning how to work in marriage and spend time together and just really schedule out and carve out time to spend because you're both working full-time jobs. I did retail, so I was always going late at night, and but we just really learned to work around it. And so, yeah, we were just living up there, enjoying living in a new city, a new state, and all of a sudden, you know, COVID-19 happened and that really happened in march and it affected my work so i was no longer um, getting to work but thankfully jay in landscaping was able to continue to work well right when i found out i wouldn't be working retail because um, the store was closed down i was also uh, those weeks before that really feeling like these symptoms like these pregnancy symptoms and my best friend had just told me she was pregnant so i was like texting her all the time without saying anything, but just ask her, do you feel this or do you feel that? And she was like, yeah, but she, she didn't say anything or ask me anything. Um, but on March 17th, I went and got a pregnancy test and right there on St. Patrick's Day, me and Jay found out that we are pregnant. We were pregnant and expecting our first baby and which was exciting but at first it was like it was a big shock because baby T was definitely a surprise we were really thankful and it's baby T is such a blessing but it did take us like two weeks to really um, just to understand and um, just process like hey we're gonna be parents COVID-19 going on we live in Cincinnati Ohio it was a lot <laughs> and so uh, we just took some time to really process and everything and um yeah so we found out during a pandemic we were pregnant so that's fun and um while we were just there and uh, eventually we got to I got to go back to work everything we really felt like um, we should move back to Alabama to be back around our family and some of our friends there and just um have that support around us and we really missed our family um it was really hard like during holidays or birthdays to like facetime all the time so um we really feel like god was calling us back to alabama and so we just worked and explored cincinnati all the way up until we could um leave because of our lease and so on july 2nd um, 2020 our family came up and helped us move back to Birmingham Alabama and so we are now currently living again in Birmingham and just enjoying the city and things you know some things have gone back to normal but still you know wearing masks and certain activities aren't as accessible anymore so we're not always out and about but um, we're just enjoying living here again and so yeah we've just been um living here um learning and growing together and in our marriage we're really thankful for our time in cincinnati and really learned a lot about ourselves and each other and it just gave us a space to like to learn and to grow and become like our own people you know and so Moving back was really good for us to be around friends and family again and just continue to grow. So I'm 36 weeks pregnant and we are expecting baby T November 6th. 
So I'm really just for nesting, getting things ready. Um, I've just been working um, with Young Living and Jay has a full-time job, but he also gets to work from home. So we get to see a lot of each other, which is um, a lot of fun and helps you to grow. So yeah, that's just where we are right now. We're just playing the waiting game, waiting for baby tea. And I just wanted to start this journey um, of recording and I'm going to actually make a video talking more about that. So if you just want to keep following along and walking with us in our journey, I would absolutely love that. So if you want to, you can subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up if you like this video and just want to continue to see more. Um, but thanks for watching and hope you have a great day. Mwah.